Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. Let's talk about the type of men Japanese girls generally like. Nihon de wa donna danse ga moteru to omoimasu ka? Nihon jin no onna no ko wa donna danse ga suki da to omoimasu ka? Moteru is a very common word, it's slang. It means to be fancied by a lot of people. So like to be popular, but like people have to like you romantically. So you can say someone wa moteru. You could say yuko wa kawaii kara moteru. So donna hito ga moteru to omoimasu ka? Donna hito, what kind of person moteru is popular to omoimasu ka, do you think? Obviously, the typical popular men are ikemen, koushu nyu, sega takai, right? Ikemen, good looking, handsome, koushu nyu, high income, sega takai, tall. But surprisingly, a lot of my friends said they are not that important as long as they are like fun to be around, like, issho ni ite tanoshi hito. This video isn't about what kind of men I like. I've asked my friends and I've read articles and tweets. <laughs> because my type is a bit different. I like nerds. Watashi wa otaku ga suki desu. But to be honest, I can't say that a lot of Japanese girls do. <laughs> but you're a nerd, they're girls like me. <laughs> so yeah, it's good to know what kind of men Japanese girls like, but you shouldn't change yourself just so you can be popular because you want to have girlfriends who'd like the way you are, not, you know, the fake you. You don't want to date someone who doesn't really appreciate your, your nerdiness and stuff that it's not gonna be good. But if you're a nerd, it's great because it means you have hobbies. And one of the popular traits that Japanese girls, or I think just girls, in general, like is shumi ga aru. You have hobbies. Shumi, hobby. There's nothing more boring than hearing, I don't have a hobby. I don't like anything. Like, shumi wa nai. Nani mo kyoumi ga nai. It's like, wow. Like, <laughs> there's nothing to talk about then. Nani mo hanasu koto nai ne. So it's really good that you have hobbies. To me, if you say your hobby is to watch anime, I'm like, yay, great! But I have to say, a lot of Japanese girls might not like that. But, you know, again, just don't change yourself for other girls. Anyway, you can say, 趣味 wa anime wo miru koto desu. Like my hobby is to watch anime. 趣味 wa anime wo miru koto desu. Or, 趣味 wa nihongo wo my hobby is to play guitar. And I must say, a lot of girls like that. So, you have hobbies, great! But Japanese girls also like 仕事熱心な人。日本人は仕事熱心な人が好きです。女の人でも男の人でも。Japanese people work hard, hard. <laughs> so they obviously love others who also work hard and they don't really like lazy people. So 仕事, job or work, 仕事熱心。熱心な means enthusiastic or devoted. But 仕事熱心 is often used like hardworking. So 仕事熱心な人 or 自分の仕事が好きな人 Someone who likes their job, someone who enjoys their job. If you are stuck in a job that you hate and you always complain, even if your salary is good, it's not great. I think girls would rather date someone who enjoys their work and is happy about what they're doing, like they're proud of what they're doing. 仕事に誇りを持ってる人 
So surprisingly, a lot of people don't care too much about you being Ikemen, Koushu, Nyu, Sega Takai. Seikaku no hou ga daiji. The personality matters. A lot of girls said that they are a bit afraid of dating Ikemen, good looking men, because they could be charai, like womanizer, player. So that leads to the next point. Japanese girls like Ichizu na hito. Ichizu na hito. It can be translated like earnest person, but it's really like someone who is devoted to one person. Ichizu na hito. If you like someone, you are only into her. You don't cheat. Uwaki shi nai hito. Uwaki shi nai hito. Not just like cheating, uwaki suru, but like when you see a beautiful girl on the street, you don't stare at the girl. Like a lot of my friends said their exes have done that and they hated it. So don't do it. If you see a beautiful girl when you're on a date, don't just, just, just don't look at her. <laughs> like, date <中に他の女の子を見ちゃダメ. laughs> so being friendly is great, but a lot of girls actually like it when guys only open up to the girl he really likes. So rather than him being friendly to everyone, みんなに優しい人よりも自分にだけ優しい人が好きっていう女の子も多いです。Because if you're too friendly and like kind of flirty, girls think that you're a bit charai, womanizer or you know, like player. But it's a bit hard because girls also like someone who are hanashiyasui and kikijouzu. So hanashiyasui means someone who is easy to talk to and kikijouzu is someone who is a good listener. So generally people who are easy to talk to are quite friendly to everyone so it's a bit different but you know. And the next one is a pretty big one. Yasashikute shinshiteki na hito. Someone who is kind and gentlemanly. So Japanese girls love shinshiteki na hito. Gentlemen. Shinshi. Shinshi. Gentlemen. Or shinshiteki na hito. Someone who is gentlemanly. So every girl say, Yasashi hito ga suki. I like someone who is kind. Yeah, that's like, duh. So, shinshiteki na hito, what do they do? So, Japanese people are still quite conservative, so a lot of the time, the gender role is quite strict and obvious. So, in the West, some women say they don't like it when men try to open the door for them and stuff. Uh, Japanese girls genuinely like those things, so... People who would open their doors for them. To be honest, I open doors for everyone. I open doors for girls, boys, old people, young kids. Like, I don't mind opening doors for people. But if someone opens a door for me, I would also be happy. I would be like, how dare you open the door for me? <laughs> That's fine. ドアを開けてくれる人は優しいと思います。or if my boyfriend carries a heavy bag, I would really appreciate it. And like 90% of Japanese girls do too. Like if the bag is like a handbag, like a really tiny one, you don't need to. But if she's carrying something heavy, uh, definitely offer a help. It's not a very 20-20 thing. Uh, compared to the West, but Japanese girls like that, so why not? And giving a jacket if a girl is feeling cold. But don't do it to everyone. Like, don't give your jacket to a girl who is not your girlfriend. Japanese girls hate it when a guy gives his jacket to just his friend, like, someone who is not his girlfriend because the girls wouldn't feel special. みんなに同じことをしてたら特別な感じがしないです。
But yeah, it depends on the person. Someone might think, oh, he's so nice. He's so kind to everyone. I love that. You know, those people exist too. みんなに優しいのが好きな人ももちろんいます。Okay, the last one, which is actually the most important thing to a lot of girls in Japan. 清潔感がある人清潔感がある人。so basically someone who is clean and tidy. So Japanese people might even seem like germophobic compared to the rest of the world. We really like it clean and tidy. Like we want to wash hands immediately. We wear masks when you cough. According to some research, being clean and tidy, 清潔感がある is the most important thing to girls. So if you stink, that's a no-no as well. So make sure your mouth smells good as well. リステリン使ってください。チューインガム使ってください。So <laughs> like even if you're not an ikemen, segatakai, koushunyu, you can do that easily. You can brush your teeth, you know, like a normal person. Like hao migakuno wa atarimae. It doesn't mean you have to wear so much perfume. Kosuyo一杯使ったりしなくてもいいです. But they like, take a shower, wipe off your sweat. Leaving a wet or even dry towel on the floor is a no-no to most Japanese people. Ah, oh, no, I can't do this. <laughs> so that means that your hair isn't too messy either. So a lot of Japanese girls actually really care about fashion as well. おしゃれな人が好きな人も多いです. Nice haircut, nice outfits. 髪もボサボサの人よりちゃんと髪を整えている人の方が人気だと思います. Alright, that's it for today. This was quite different from usual videos where I only talk about grammar. But I hope you still enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. I'm never sure if you guys want more, you know, grammar and like language lesson or you guys are also interested in knowing some like, cultural aspects of Japan and Japanese people. And I'd be happy to talk about it. Anyway, don't change yourself for somebody else. Change yourself only if you want to. Like for yourself and love yourself. <laughs> All right? Anyway, ありのままの自分を好きになってくれる人が一番だと思います。So that it doesn't mean that you can't compromise for somebody, I guess. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with your friends and share your thoughts in the comments. And I'm also curious to know what kind of girls you like or guys you like. Alright, thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Jaa, mata ne. Bye bye.